Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to do the flip through of the grungy lap book. It's all finished, everything's in it. So we're going to go through. First of all, I want to say how much fun this was. I hope you've had, you know, some inspiration and enjoyed the series. I've loved making this. Reminds me how much I love lap books. So I'm going to do you some rough measurements. This is just roughly. It's 18 and a half centimetres tall by 13 centimetres wide. It has a seven and a half centimetre spine and the mouth is 11 centimetres. So in inches, that would be four and a half by seven and a half, three inches by five inches. I love this down the spines. Snip it roll on a spine. I don't know why I haven't thought of that before. And my ingenious tie from a bag handle. <laughs> I couldn't think of a way to get these to close. And that was, as you saw, how I did it. Um, obviously, I'll be linking all the videos in this series below. So if you didn't see it and you're just seeing this bit and wondering how I made it, all the videos will be underneath linked so you can go and watch them all. And here we go. I'm going to go through the whole thing, hopefully trying to keep it in frame. So on the cover, we've got a little tie up. This envelope has a little pocket in the front. Just a little tag, which flips out so you can put something else on there. And underneath, we've got a little, another little tag sitting in there. And it's all just layered up. You can see that. So it's got a, a sort of French theme going on. As well as being quite grungy and shabby chic-ish. Just, just yumminess. <laughs> okay, right. So we're going to open... <laughs> So it just opens like this. So we're going to try and do one side at a time. So inside front cover has a big pocket and I've popped in an envelope which has some writing paper inside and a tag. This is original um, images from a very old 1800s book I've got. At the back of this pocket is another tag which is just just plain on the back. Just sits in the back of that pocket like that. I oh, know it there's so many pockets. Sorry my arm in the way. So this then opens up and we have <laughs> we have a little magnetized folio and in there are some little tags which you see me make most of these there are a few and they're just backed with some coffee dyed paper and they sit in that front pocket I couldn't make this too big in the end I should have done bigger spines which is something I've learned because the magnet just stays shut if you put too much in it doesn't shut in this pocket, I just put a lot of little bits of ephemera. Some of these are from Jovi, so thank you, Jovi. These bits, and just 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 paper ephemera. I've popped some little tickets in in this little pocket here, and this little envelope will open up. And I've put a few little extra bits and pieces in there that you can use in the journal. And that just tucks back in. Tag in here just for writing on. Which this then opens up. Got a scorecard. You know, more writing space. Little journaling card. And some gorgeous. This is some of my hand-dyed leaf paper. Which I did out in the garden. In the summer. And I just thought, do you know what? It's super grungy. I'm going to pop it in this pocket. So they go in there. Get you straight. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to shut. So that flips and then that magnetises down. And a little tab. 
I'm going to move this out of the way a moment. This is the top of a tissue box. I showed you how I made this in one of the videos. And inside is a pocket with a tag in. Gorgeously grungy on that side. And just a little layered up pocket. And I put we put acetate on the back so that you could see both sides. And it, I just did some collaging on that side. It's a little flip envelope booklet <laughs> i know don't ask i was just putting things together bit of a collage and my cat obviously this is st michael's mount so just very very loose french theme going on and it's a little journaling spot little a few plain pages to write in and in this pocket i've popped a little envelope that I have. You can take it off either way. I can just undo it. This I have run through my Sizzix and just sort of embossed. And just decorated it up. Like this. And inside is a little love letter. And a photo. Shh, we don't know who he is. It's a secret. So that will go in there and that tucks in there. I'm not going to put the string back on. It'll take me ages. So that folds over, that holds that down. So moving on, we shut that side. I'm going to slide it over again. And we have two mini journals in here. And they are both in with elastic. So it's just slide them in. They are all sewn together. They are three whole pamphlet stitched and then just popped in under the elastic. So the pages won't fall out, but you can replace the whole thing if you want to once you've written in them. This is original book page and I've just put that on with a bit of a grungy collage on and it's just paper scraps. This is my nature paper that I just cut up into some tag shapes and stamped on and just basic. A few tags, a bit of, I haven't embellished the journals an awful lot. I've popped bits in the pockets. So, you know, not, not huge amount of decorating gone on, but I did make some tags. Oh, and that was that way. So these, these are going in these little pockets. And I put a couple of tabs on, you know, nothing, nothing too much. But there's still plenty of room in there. And this is somebody's itinerary expenses. Just, just thought I'd pop that in. <laughs> and a little cluster I've made, just tucked in. You can put that somewhere else. And this is a second signature again, just embellish the front. tea dyed tissue paper I think it was little bit be pocket there little tabs more little cards oh the only time I put tags in is in the very center I think so there's a few tags to get you going these are I think these were from Rhonda a long time ago sort of shopping notes so very vintage and a little urgent things to do list so so that's the journal. Loads of writing space. Right, stay down. <gasps> so I've made a little belly band tuck spot here with a cluster that I got from Cheryl. So I'll pop that in. And this is a vintage page from this that really old book that I've got. Just backed with some cardstock. And that just slides in for a bit of writing. I had to make these a bit plainer because it was just taking so long. We had such a complicated pocket at one point. That was this one. <laughs> it was just so complicated. Um, we'll do this one first. This little accordion pocket. I've tucked in one of the tags we made. Just it doesn't. It just tucks. 
this holds it in it doesn't stay in and inside the pockets i've just got some more ephemera um an old postcard from the moulin rouge some of jovi's paper um this is this is all original vintage stuff so you've got something from the bible well i thought the writing is gorgeous and this is an old really old whoops, she says oh it isn't upside down it's just really faint this is from 1930 and uh, it's about cow cathew sporting rights so yeah really vintage stuff popped in these pockets because you know grungy so that ties back up we're not going to tie it we're just going to leave it <laughs> and then you've got this pocket this was the most complicated pocket but it turned out so good in the end um so it ties on like this so you just undo one side of it and we've got one tag here which is a little pocket and i've got some ritz note paper so it's just for a really secret note and another piece of that from Vonda. So got little secret notes behind there because nobody knows that's a pocket. And just plain on the back for more writing. So this tucks in this pocket and holds down this flap. So just journaling cards, which open to another one. Got some more original ephemera tucked in there. And then it flips the other way for you to put something on there if you wish. Or you can put another tag on. Okay, then this opens and we have another tag. This is just made from some packaging. And it had adventure on the bottom, so I've left it. And I've got, obviously... Paris. This is another one of my tags that I've just, it's just paper, coffee dyed and just stamped. This I've left, I was going to put more stuff on it, but I've just left it so that, you know, you can add your own. But that opens up and at the back we have this little tuck with a notepad in, which is just full of scrappy paper. And it just tucks in with a little bit of paper. That just wraps right round, she says. And it tucks just in like that. So this then will open the other way. So you've got a little tag in there. Well, journaling card, which tucks in this tuck spot. I think we're still in frame. I've had to keep my camera quite high. Another piece of original ephemera, which is some lemon bread and a lemon trifle recipe. And we have, I'll do that in a sec, and just another tag. There we go. So that, so that's obviously the front, so it folds like that. So I, that was just such the, it was just so complicated, wasn't it, guys? There were the ones who were with me doing that one. I think it took me two days just to put this all together. So if you want to see how I made that, follow the links. Follow the links below. Okay, guys, did you enjoy that? What do you think? Give me a like if you love it. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know if you're going to be making one. So fold it back up. Fold it back up. The journal, I deliberately put smaller. I could have had it as big, almost as big as the pages, but I just thought it looked really cool like that. And I love this, just a snippet roll that I put on. And you just plug it on. And obviously I didn't show you this bit, but it just it's just elastic and it just folds. I just tucked it into a bag handle. And this vintage lace vintage 
coffee dyed doily. And I left the back. The back, all the book is painted and protected in this. And then I've totally covered everything up. I'm still, I'm in an hour and whether I want to put anything on there. Let me know. So there we go. <laughs> She's all done. Super pleased with how she turned out. She will be in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, pop over, have a look. And um, I'll see you all again soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.